Hello and welcome to this E4Clicks Project Estimator training video. Today we're going to look through how to search through your RS Means guides. Um, specifically, we're going to cover how to use the favorites. All right. So in, inside of E4Clicks, we're going to start on the Line Items tab of the Updating Estimate window. Remember how to get here, we can check out of some of our other videos. But we're going to go ahead and open our guide, and then we're going to use the favorites to find some stuff. All right? So how do we open up a guide? We can right click, and the top option lets us open up our default guide, the RS Means Facilities. Or we could use our fourth option down here to choose from our list of guides. Let's go ahead and do our favorite, RS Means Facilities, which has about 300,000 records to go through, and we have a bunch of different line items we can grab from. If we have memorized the number of our line item, we can go ahead and type it, 09050520, and that will take us to selective demolition of flooring. If, however, we are human and can't remember all of these numbers, we can also use some of our search utilities. All right? In a previous video, we saw index. Now we're going to look at favorites. I have other videos that you can check out for some of the other search utilities. All right? How do we open up a search utility? All right, if we right-click, if we have favorites, see how we have a dedicated menu option for favorites, and then that top option opens up the favorites. So if we click on favorites, that'll open up our favorites window. We have about 163 uh, pre-provided line items that you can use, and you can manage these and turn them on and off and that kind of stuff. So favorites for us if you have a hard copy book and you had little sticky tabs inside of that book so you could quickly open up to one of your favorite uh, pages that you used again and again, that would be the favorites that we're talking about here. So these are kind of like electronic sticky tabs. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you. Now, this four clicks, so we want to make you as quick as possible, right? So there's a couple other ways to open up the favorites. Click here and right click, go to favorites. And if we notice to the right of the favorites command is control plus F, all right? I think we've done this once before, but if we come back and our focus is on our line items here, if we hold down the control key on the keyboard and then press the F key and then release them both, that'll open up the favorites window and we could go to town. Let's do one more option on how to get to the favorites. If we like our toolbar icons, if we come up here, we can see our favorites there. It's a folder with a big F on it. And next to it, we can see that we can add or remove a line item from the favorite. So if we click on that, we'll see an F show up here, and that'll be included in our favorites. If we highlight it and click it again, then it'll be removed from our favorites. So right here, the big F, favorites. So we'll click on that, and that'll open up the favorites again. So now let's actually use it. This is pretty neat. We have two tabs here for our locate field. And we can remember, if our focus is in our line items here, if we just start typing 2, 6, it auto-incremented through our list based on the tab that we had highlighted. So this my item, so 26, dropped us down to the 26. If, however, we were on the By Description tab, I'll switch over here to the By Description tab, what we can do is start typing again, our focus is over here on the line items, C-O-N-C-R. Now we can notice that it auto-incremented there to concrete. You see that? Do you remember how to clear the locate field from one of our other videos? If we hit the backspace key on the keyboard, that'll take away one letter at a time. If we move to our list, up or down arrow key, that'll clear out the locate entirely without us having to use our mouse. All right? Now, what happens if we don't start typing? If we have the focus here and just start typing, we can be super efficient, and it'll walk, walk through alphanumerically as we type. If, however, we click into the locate field, it's not wrong, it's just slower. So now our focus is in the locate field. I'm going to type C-O-N-C-R-E-T-E -E for concrete, and notice that the line items did not update. The is waiting for us now to leave this locate field before it can refresh our list. So if we press the tab key on the keyboard, over there on the left side of your keyboard, if we press tab, then it'll, up, it'll 
update our list and jump to the concrete there. Does that kind of make sense a little bit? I hope so. All right, let's do one more item. So let's go, and we can be on either tab when we use the query field. This field we do have to click into. And let's type COV space BAS. Now what this is going to do is it's going to filter our list and show us only the line items that have all of those words. These can be full words or partial words, all right? So when we press the tab key to leave the query field, it'll update our results below, and we can see that these three line items somewhere have COV and BAS, all right? So that's the query field, a little bit different from locate, which is alphanumeric through the list. Query will filter our list. All right, so now let's jump to one of those items in the book, okay? So we can click on an, e on an entry with our mouse, or we could use the up and down arrow keys to move through our list. When we find the line item we want, we can verify it by looking at the bottom info panel right here. We can see the full description if we can't read it all here, if it gets cut off, as well as any notes that we could put on it. When we find the one we want, we have several options on how to jump there in the book. All right? Give me some. We can press the enter key on the keyboard. We can double click the line item that we wanted to. We can go and click the favorites and go to locate line item. Of course, because if in doubt, we can right click. We can highlight it, right click on it, and use the locate line item. If we click on there, then we jumped to that line item in the book and we could add this line item if we wanted to. And we'll figure out how to do that in another video. Now, remember we have some sticky windows for a lot of our search utilities. We can kind of see the favorites hanging out here behind our window, or we could use any of our commands again, like the toolbar icon, and we come back here to the favorites window, and we could go to a different line item if we wanted to, or we could search for a new line item if we wanted to. So the favorites is super nice to find those line items that you use again and again and again. This can be a super fast way to locate those and then add them to your estimate. Okay, so hopefully that makes some sense, and that's another search utility in your quiver of um, tools there. Um, so hopefully that helps you out with facilities. If you have any questions on this video or on anything at all, please don't hesitate to give us a call or shoot us an email, and you have a great day.